focus the principles of radio, of optics, electronics, photography and chemistry, so that they all might work together to make color television practical. Thus they created the compatible color television system. They did it with one of the historic inventions of our times, the tricolor television tube. The lens of the color television camera collects light rays in full color from the scene being televised. Within the camera, an ingenious system of mirrors breaks down the light rays into television's three primary colors, blue, green, and red. They are focused through the lens system to the special camera tubes provided for each primary color. And the primary color signals thus produced are simultaneously processed for transmission. By the miracle of compatibility, color programs can be seen on standard black and white sets without any change or adjustment. Color receivers, which can also pick up standard black and white broadcasts, decode the color information and apply the picture in all its vivid beauty to the tricolor tube. The world of color transforms the commonplace into the beautiful. With it, the men of television had captured a paintbrush. Viewers at home could see distant scenes in all their vivid coloration. The Tournament of Roses in Pasadena provided the first coast-to-coast -coast telecast in color. But again, this was just a milestone. A colorful future is still ahead of us. With the added dimension of color, Television programming probed new horizons. Once again, technicians and artists accepted the challenge. Entirely new adventures and entertainment could now unfold before the people of America. More and more stations are becoming equipped to broadcast color every day. For without color, you are missing half the show. Mobile units began transmitting color telecasts from the bright outdoors. New sparkle and new buoyancy could be added to the enjoyment of the great sports events. The World Series of 1955 was another TV milestone, the first to be televised in natural color. The same year, the first Davis Cup matches were televised in color on the court of Forest Hill. football, always one of the finest of sports in the finest of seasons. Now this autumnal pageantry can be enjoyed as it should, in the glory of its natural color. The future of our television story encompasses the entire Earth. Into every one of our living rooms can come a human eye view of the world with the immediacy and speed of light itself. Color and international color TV, natural color from everywhere, and transmitted across the widest oceans and the highest mountains. More and more programs in color every day of the year. and sureness of tuning, with ever-increasing simplicity of operation, with sets and tubes as dependable as any ever made, the American family will share the color and the motion of the world all around it. Television, truly the miracle that has put its signature on our century. <laughs>